Next thing to discuss is about vector analysis. But actually, before going there, let's just uh, discuss a bit what uh, we mean on an integral, an integral of a function. So, you know, let's be just have uh, a general function and uh, fx. And we are interested in the integral of uh, this fx. And essentially, what, um, what we do with an integral is that we make little columns like this. I mean, all of these are obviously parallel to, to each other. Let me not do too much with that. And uh, we take the area of each of these little elements, which uh, have a little space, which you can call the x here. So we calculate uh, the area of this uh, part of the function, which corresponds to a little piece in the x direction, the x. And we mean that the integral of a function is the sum of all of these uh, pieces. So we can say that uh, uh, this is kind of uh, what we mean is that this is the sum of um, of the red. Uh, I mean, actually, all, all the um, the blue little columns, red plus you know all the the blue columns. So essentially, how do we calculate the um, these columns? What we do is that we multiply the x with uh, the value of the function at that point, fx, and uh, and when dx goes to a small number, so when we say that dx goes to zero then the sum goes to an integral. That's essentially what we can think about uh, uh, a standard integral. And then, you know, like this area here is going to be a negative area. So this is with a minus sign. And then this part is with a plus sign. What is more relevant for uh, us is called the line integral. So all this starts with, um, with having a vector field. So I just say that uh, we have this charge, let's say, and that creates an electric field. And in this electric field, we have a particle going through. And we are interested in uh, some property uh, in physics that uh, actually can be calculated with, uh, <clears throat> with the line integral. So let's just say, you know, in general, that this uh, y region was v. And I can put r here, so it's a vector field. This is a vector, and then um, if you are interested in uh, the line integral going through this path, this path, which we can call C. So the line integral is going to be denoted as the integral of this V R and uh, D R here. So what we actually do is that we take and small elements in this line integral. And uh, and we calculate the value of uh, of this field VR in the middle of these points. And then we add them together. And that's 
what we call the line integral of this field. So you know I can again uh, say something like that that this is this kind of what it means that it is the sum of uh, v with these little elements dr it's a vector for all segments. If um, if the path which we take is uh, closed, so if I take the green integral, I mean that's going to be the same v d r, but um, I could actually be a bit more specific here and then put an extra c here to show that that was an integral on the c part and then you know I can call this d and put a d here or it's the same notion as saying that I have I put an extra circle here showing that it's a closed loop and it's a closed uh, line integral in this case. I can also put the d here if I want to but that's uh, less important. So then the next thing which is very important in the area of a line integral is um, that we can also go into a higher dimension area integral. It's very it's very similar just now we have uh, this white uh, field And now I'm interested in, um, it's going to be very hard to, to make a drawing of, but so like this is a three-dimensional sphere or a spherical field around which I could make uh, a sphere and calculate the, uh, the spherical integral, the, the area integral of uh, that sphere. So we do a very similar idea. So I just now say that, uh, I am not doing a full sphere, just uh, this, this area. So again, what we do is that we take uh, this uh, area into little pieces, calculate the, um, the area of a little piece, this part, let's say, which uh, we can approximate to be a rectangle. And uh, so the RA integral is going to be denoted as uh, dA. And essentially, it, a dA is a vector which is showing outwards. It's always normal, so perpendicular to the sphere, to the surface here and its value is so the uh, the de vectors absolute value is the same as the a um, the area of uh, the little um, surface and of course i can um, i can also have a closed integral where i put a circle here one can also show that it's essentially a surface integral is a two-dimensional integral showing um, that uh, it's a dx dy. Um, with this we show that with the two dimensions in uh, x and y. Well actually like the notion itself with uh, two vectors isn't really the best. Um, so instead one could just say that we forget about this vector notion and we say that we have a, a, a dn vector, which is essentially the uh, absolute value of dn is 1. And then, um, you know, the, uh, the area is going to be calculated as dx times dy.
and then we can do one more dimension we could go into 3d that's going to be called a volume integral which is actually very similar again we have a notion of a dv and um, so dv is uh, dx times dy times dv so what's interesting now and the, like the main <clears throat> theme of uh, of vector analysis is that we can move between these integrals with uh, two theorems one of them is called the Stokes Stokes theorem. The Stokes theorem says that um, if we take, so we have a vector field, and we are taking the um, line integral of, of that vector field by the um, the um, boundary of a certain area so you know um, this is going to be area a and then the green line or the, the line itself is the the a is the boundary of a which is a line right so this is a line integral it's a closed line integral which is around the boundary of the surface a so what we are saying is that we are making this into an integral that is a surface integral on A. So we also will have a dA here. And then obviously um, we are we're doing uh, the integral of V. So there is going to be one more thing included here, which makes this relation true. And uh, that's essentially the curl as we discussed earlier, that this is the nabla cross-producted with uh, the vector, or vector field. So Stokes theorem is a relationship between an integral on RA and the integral on the surface of uh, that, uh, that A. And so, so we moved from a, a 1D object uh, to a 2D to the object it's actually in both directions and then Gauss theorem is a relationship between the um, surface and the volume so now um, we again have um, an integral of the surface of a volume, right? So, uh, sorry, the yes. So the boundary of a volume is a surface. We do the integral for this uh, v vector field, and as I mentioned, this is now a two-dimensional surface integral, and so that's going to be transformed into the integral on the surface itself, on v itself. And so that means that I have a dv here, and as I mentioned earlier, that obviously we do have a v here. And so what's new is uh, again uh, something with uh, the nabla vector operator, and that something is the divergence. So with the divergence, we move between the two dimensional and the three dimensional integrals. Right, so, if this is this whole thing was volume V, then the boundary itself is V, v and if we do an integral, you know, like all, in all these cases, we actually had some um, some some vector fields understood in it. Uh, I'm always going with this. Uh, electric field created by a charge physical example but you know it can 
could be anything mathematically. So the, for the proof of uh, this, we will need to apply Taylor series, and um, and I think that's going to be done in, um, in a different video.